Yo, YouTube, y'all already know. We right back with another exclusive. That Jim Jones speaking on DJ Academics, WAC 1069, part two. Man, let's go. Jimmy said, um, so I'm going here get my thoughts on the whole situation as a whole, right? I'm going to say this. 6 9 is smart, and I'm going to tell you why. The reason why 6 9 is smart, because he got gangsters arguing with each other. He got bloods questioning bloods. He got Jim Jones and his feelings. He got WAC 100. And his feelings now, whack out here chasing the bag, doing whatever he got to do for the bag, trying to keep his name hot. And whack is showing y'all that he will step on anybody to keep his name hot. Now, what's crazy to me is that man, I didn't even heard whack even diss the game before. And when I seen game back down on the way, whack was disrespecting him. I kind of lost respect for the game. It's like, bro, it's like. How you just going to let this man say whatever he want to say? But then back to this situation. You sat down with 6 9 and you said he's supposed to be a civilian. But then you still sit down and talk with him. And you don't, because you say you don't feel like he a rat. But as far as street politics go, you know he labeled as a rat. But then at the same time, if you feel a lot of people in the industries are rats or they not gangster, why are you associating yourself with the industry? Like, I don't understand that. Why do, why do people want to associate themselves with something they want to downplay? Just like, why would you want to associate yourself with the streets if you feel like the streets fake? Why would you want to associate yourself with with the music industry, if you feel like the music industry fake, if it's so fake to you and everything is watered down and everything is not what it seems, then why do you want to be associated with it so bad? That's the part I don't understand. Like, if you, if you so 
like just don't want to be a part of it why are you associating yourself with it why do you got artists why do you affiliate yourself with rap why do you chase these rap bags why are you chasing blueface as your artist like why are you doing or trying to set up f fights for him like i don't know what's going on out here man it's a weird world all i can say is if you're really out here in the streets Stay off the internet because the em the internet is really slamming people out here on the streets. Don't get involved in none of these politics and games and back and forth. Like, even when I see with 21 Savage, it's like, I know for a fact 21 Savage and No Plug and all that. Like, they was really, really like that. So, like, for me to hit whack, speak on him and say the stuff he said... Well, you don't know nothing about them. They was really, really out there like that. Like, that's what I'm saying. Wack just out here running his mouth, saying anything. He feel like he could talk about whoever he want to talk about. He feel like he could do whatever he want to do. And it's like, even if it goes against his set, like, you talking about what the Bloods in New York did, what about you doing? What about what you doing? You and you disrespecting rules and codes and stuff like that. I ain't even sitting down talking to this dude. And at the end of the day, I'm going to tell you what's crazy. At the end of the day, 6 9 the real winner. He's the real winner. Why? His name back in these conversations. Nah, because he spoke on Jim. He got Jim name hot, which made Wack speak even more on Jim. And you know what I'm saying? Wack trying to make it seem like he was involved with 6 9 from the whole beginning. Yeah, well, you know, we called the Bloods in New York, and we asked them, bro, y'all ain't, listen, man, look, let me explain something to y'all. If you believe that when Wax say that, you a fool, and I'm finna tell you why. Why would y'all make a call about that when it's so much other things that they do in New York that Y'all have no say-so over. Y'all don't have no say-so over no blood sets in New York, period, at all. So what you mean y'all made a call and y'all was doing this? And then when y'all was, when y'all seen it get out of hand, why y'all ain't intervene and stop it? Why ain't nobody hit Jim up and like, see, that's what I'm saying. So with Wack coming with all this stuff, it sound like he just trying to make himself look good and say anything he want to say, keep his heart, artist's heart, downplay everybody else because think about it game last albums hey we know he can rap he can spit but game last album's been doodle he ain't be he ain't really talked about nothing blueface is doodle when the last heard when the last time you heard a hot song from blueface what was blueface last known hot song and whack is popping more than blue right now whack is popping more than blueface right now Whack on every blog. Whack got everybody talking about him. Whack got that. Nah, Blueface. And Blueface just beat up a dude and a fan. And it was like, okay, whatever. But he still not, as far as music go, who's Blueface? Like, come on, man. Like, it was crazy to me. But like I say, man, if you out here in the streets for real, protect yourself. Do what you got to do for yourself. Stay off this internet. Because it's slamming people left and right. Don't get on Clubhouse because that can be used against you a court. Don't get on Instagram. They're using that in court. Don't get on the Facebook. They're using that in court. They're using all this stuff to slam people. Then you want to get on here and talk about it. And see, this is my whole thing with Jim Jones too, right? If you was already caught on the wiretap, and that's facts, why would you even why would you even have a phone conversation with male murder in jail and you know every call coming from jail is being recorded? I don't understand these guys. They swear they so street. They swear they so gangster. I'm not why would I want to hop on the phone with you from from a jail call? And if I did, because I know everything recorded. I'm not finna let you talk about whack. I'm not finna let you talk about six. Now I'm not finna let you do none of that. What's up? How you doing in there? You know, how you feeling? How you doing on the yard? You need some money? That's it. Probably not even the money because Jim Jones is labeled as one of nine trade leaders. Like, 
and this is better feds. So I wouldn't even I wouldn't even did that. I would have to talk to another person to get a message to another person or some I wanted mail to say or if I wanted mail talk to me. But I'm not finna be be directly. So let's take away the six nine wire tap. You think that phone Rikers or whatever mail murder at? You think that phone ain't tap? You think he ain't gonna be on that tap? You don't think the feds listening to all them calls? And all them calls are recorded. It tell you when you hang up the phone. This call is recorded. It tell you. So this is crazy to me. It's like y'all trying to play industry games, street games, and lane games all at the same time. And let me exp and let me tell y'all something. In the end, somebody always lose. Whether you get killed, whether you go to jail, whatever. But playing like this, somebody. Is going to lose. That's it. Ain't no real, real winners here, but six nine. Cause now he got stuff to. He got more stuff to talk about in his music. His name is back ringing, and he don't even have to say none. And then he got academics that's gonna put him. That's gonna push him, no matter what. And that make it even look weaker because now it's street. It's street dudes that feel like they need academics. And academic study telling y'all, I ain't friends with none of y'all. Yeah, I'm gonna interview 6ix9ine. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm post 6ix9ine. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm wanna interview with Dirk. Yeah, I'm gonna post Dirk. What? Huh? How? What? And if I was Dirk, if I was Dirk, I would look at academics like, I mean, we was cool, but at the same time, how you posting everything little Tim do? How you, how, how you posting and making it, you making it seem like, Little Tim out here up on us. But that's for a whole nother video. But, hey man, y'all get in the comments. Let me know what y'all think. Subscribe to the channel. It's your boy, boo, man. I'm out.